about a 20 minute drive southwest of St. Genevieve will put you right here. This is an absolute jewel of a place. This is wine garden, winery and vineyards. There's a couple of hundred acres here that you can roam. You can have a beautiful first rate five star dinner and soon you're going to be able to stay here too. It's a full on destination and I can't wait to take you with me to see it. This is amazing. You're oh, Randy. Oh, Joy, I am. How Welcome are to Wine you? Garden. Thank you. It's Thank lovely you. to be here. Beautiful day to be here. Uh, yeah, and a lot to see. Yes, there is a lot to see. <laughs> if you're going to show me around, I'm going to take you up on it. Come on in. Let's go see it. Uh -huh. Thank you. So wow. this is the main tasting room, dining room. Okay, um, I, you know, w since I drove up in the parking lot, Randy, I got to be honest, the word that keeps coming to mind is majestic. Mm -hmm. This place is stunning. Look at that fireplace. Look at that beautiful fireplace. This is just incredible. So how big is this building? Uh, approximately 24,000 square feet. Okay, about 24,000 square right. feet. And this is your, well, this is your main. Dining room, tasting room, eating room, whatever people want to use it for. Okay. Um, we have dinners on Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights in this room. And you act as the chef, by the way, as if he doesn't have enough to do. Winemaker, owner, sometimes the chef. Sometimes the chef, yeah. So it's really in your blood to do all of this. It's very hospitality-minded, I can tell. I think now's a good time to tell people, talk about a destination winery. This is it, because you are going to be putting in some rooms here, so you can come here have you know a sip of wine or two dinner and stay for a few days well that's what we're hoping um, when we originally built we we thought that perhaps the winery side of things would just carry us through but since then i think we, we realized that what we have to offer and the view that a destination winery um, would probably be the best thing for us to do and go in that direction well, there sure is certainly more to see down here, Randy. This is every bit as expansive as you told me about. This is gorgeous. It really kind of has that wine cellar feel about it down here, too. How many can you see here? We can hold 350 down here. Mm -hmm. And then if we tent the outside patio, which is another 2,400 square feet, you can get about another 150 people outside. And then we open up the doors, and then it joins it all together. This is just amazing to think of what it would be like to have all that activity and the tents and the doors open and the breeze blowing through. Makes for a nice, real nice event. And you say you have a beautiful private tasting room? We have a private cellar that's located underneath our parking lot. Mm -hmm. Let's go see that. Let's do. Now this is something I really haven't seen. All of the barrels in this room. You call this the, what do you call it, the wine cellar, the tasting we, room? I, I refer to it as a wine cellar. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is literally underneath part of the parking lot? We're under the par parking lot and the Porter Cachere when you drive through. Well, I know so. you're very proud of this room because when you told me about this room, you said this is something you were really, really proud of. Private yeah. tastings happen in here also. Yeah, we've been trying to do more and more private tastings where we taste out of the barrels. Um, which is always fun. How many barrels yeah. do you have in here? We have 35 in here right now. Okay. And typically we're only Oak, Oaking, our Nortons and Chamberson. We've done some Chardonnay, some of our whites, but it's been more popular for us to do our dry reds. And speaking of, we haven't tried the wine yet and I can't stand it. I can't wait any longer. Can we run upstairs and take a taste? Absolutely, let's do it. Okay. For sure. So I noticed you have out your Norton. This is one of your favorites? It is one of our favorites. Um, it's funny how they change. This is a 2011, so it's taken on different taste over the years. You wouldn't think a Norton that old might be that good, but um, we think it's one of our better ones. So we'll let it breathe here for a minute. Mm. So. I let it breathe for as long as I could. Mm. Randy, that's very good. I love this. It's cheers. Cheers. What is it about this one that you like? I've, I'm detecting some kind of almost a spice. Yeah, it's funny because people ask what spice that we added to the process, which we really don't. Well, this so, is uh, an absolute winner. I love this wine. I truly do. And again, you have this 
absolutely beautiful view, a full restaurant, and soon this will be a full-on destination because you're putting in six suites in this very building. How do people find you if they want to know more information, what hours you're open? The best thing for it to do would be go to winegardenvineyard.com. A beautiful place yeah. you have here. Thank you. And I look forward to exploring more. And Randy Hammond, thank you so much. This well, has been a joy. One more sip with me? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Cheers, and sir. Thank you, Joy. Thank you.